Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna be doing um, drugstore makeup. So, um, as y'all can see, makeup so I try to do something for you guys. You know, if you're not already a makeup addict like me, <laughs> this will definitely save you money because honestly, you do not really have to do the most to this good or for anything you don't have to spend most you know so um I did put this look together I tried my best to stay with the drugstore brand that I have so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this week you wanna see how I got this Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So as y'all can see, we're just jumping into the video. I already did my eyebrows and my I did prime and set my eyes off camera. So we're just gonna take this a uh, light brown and just put it everywhere on my eyelid. So this is our um, transition shade. And because of how deep my skin is, it's taking a minute, but I am working on it and building it up to my desired shade. So we're gonna go in with this deep um, purple and I'm just gonna focus on my outer V and my crease area. These shades are really matte so you're just gonna have to work on blending it and adding more to it to get your desired shade. So we're going to be switching back and forth between these two palettes. I'm not trying to go too dramatic, but I do live for smoky eyes. So we're just going to I'm just going to take a small brush and go in with the black eyeshadow, black eyeshadow and just focus on my outer V. And now I'm just taking a big fluffy brush, this brush I use to set my eyes. So I'm just going to blend everything together before we go in with the cut crease. And I'm just going to attempt to do a highlight under my brows, which I don't normally do. But I kind of like the way it turned out though, so whatever. And I'm going to just blend it. And we're just gonna do a halfway, a half cut crease. So I'm just gonna take the concealer and carve out where I need to, where I need, what I need. And I don't know if it's just me, but I have issues, guys. Like I feel like one of my eyes is smaller than the other. And for the cut crease part, we're going to be doing two eyeshadows. Just kind of blend them together or something. I don't know what I'm doing there, but whatever. So I'm just going in with this fluffy brush that I use for um, our transition shade and just kind of blend everything together and then I did went in with that small black um, eyeshadow brush that I was using earlier and just 
also putting everything together. As you guys know, I look for cat eyes or wing liner. So, but for this look, um, I want the look to just focus on the eye shadows and not the eyeliner. So I'm just going with a very very thin eyeliner here. For this uh, foundation, it turned out to be a bit red. I don't remember this. Um, I don't remember it being this red, but maybe because I've been sitting there for too long. I have not used this foundation for a while, so I don't remember how exactly it looked like. <laughs> but it seems redder than it was when I used to use it so but I'm just gonna go in with the light shade to kind of balance it out so I think this is um, beautiful browns from um, LA Pro concealers so this is not the shade that I'm normally using but because of the redness on this um, foundation I'm just gonna try to blend trying to um, cancel out that red and try to go in with the light with the bright color. You gotta have fun guys. So I'm just gonna go in with my uh, foundation or my powder and kind of set everything before I actually go in with the setting powder. So the setting powder that I'm using is a combination of two um, setting powder. One is very light and one is very yellow so I kind of mixed those two together to give me the perfect shade that I need because as dark as I am applying makeup is challenging sometimes because the products that we buy are not the right shades for us so you definitely have to be very creative when it comes to makeup so now we're just gonna snatch that nose and Let's see what we have to work with, guys. Has dark skin. You have to be very creative, and that's what I'm saying. That palette that I'm using for contour is actually a brows kit. Most people use it for their brows. I use it to contour. How sad is that? I'm just going to go in with my Makeup Forever powder and I'm just dusting off everything and blending, blend, blend, blend. So I'm just going to go in with my Becca powder, this is very deep and it's, like, it's probably a shade darker so I usually just use it to enhance my contour so I'm just kind of blend it out. So 
I'm just gonna smoke out my lower lash line. Smoky eyes give me life, guys. I I don't know how to do plain, just plain eyeshadows. So we're just going to be um, doing some highlight. I live for this part, guys. Who does not like this part? Like seriously, guys. This is the best part of doing makeup. Getting to the highlight. Highlighting part is just ooh, I love it. But just don't do too much. So you definitely don't want to look like a clown. I freaking love that highlighter. I love that. I'm gonna try it now. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with this. Um, these are my to go to, guys. These. The combination of lipstick that I'm using and these are my to go to. And that first part, uh, um, that first color that I used, uh, it's the perfect um, nude shade dark skin. Like, honestly, I didn't need to do the most and go in with that second lipstick, but. That's what I do. The extra. And I'm just gonna go in with the brown liner. And I'm just gonna line my lips. I usually do it before. I don't know what came in to me. But either way, it did turn out perfect. I'm just gonna go in with this a, a light pink. It's very glossy. Um, and it has some sparkling. It's kind of sparkly. So I'm just gonna go in and tap those two together, or those three together, and just okay, guys. give so my lips some a life. I did love the way it turned out. I really enjoyed this look and from the look of it, I have never done something like this. Like with this palette, I got this palette two years ago and I never used it. So I did use it for quite a while but I never created a look like this. I, I love it. Like the, the eyeshadow are not transferring. Which I kind of realize most of the time when I do like a sparkly kind of look, the eyeshadow will be creasing and that's really frustrating. Yeah, however, on this look, I don't see anything on my face. I don't see like the, um, the eyeshadows moving and it's, just, it's perfect. I uh, love it. So just letting you guys know you do not need to do the most you don't need to like you don't need to buy the most to um, look good with your makeup like honestly no you don't what you need to do is just know how to apply it like, even if you buy the high-end products if, if you don't know how to apply them it's just pointless it's pointless to get those high-end products they might look good but honestly this eye shadow palette 
Mm. I think you can get this from either Walmart or Walgreens or Target. Mm. Yeah, I got this like two years ago. I really use it and I'm sure you can get it. I think it's probably ten I think it was ten dollar or nine dollar when I got it. I got it from Walmart. Yeah, this power. Like, you, I think you. you can get this at Walgreens. Walgreen. Definitely Walgreen or Walmart. And yeah, you don't honestly have to spend a lot of money to look good. Just use whatever you um you have as dark as we are. We have to be really smart on how we use our makeup products. So uh, you don't have to do most, but you just gotta have to work as early as that and try to be creative. Try to be creative. So, but I like the way it turned out in real life right now. Yeah, so. Probably something I would definitely do again. For sure. Thanks guys for watching this video. I will see you on my video if you're not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and do so and turn on that bell notification so you'll be notified when i get my video up and going i'll see you guys in my next video